am Sita. I'm Krishna. And I am 11. And I'm 12. I'm her cousin. I'm her cousin. Krishna and I are partners, and we created the heat shield. This product is for people who need to be protected from the sun and for people who get sunburn or heat stroke. People overheat a lot or get heat stroke, and our invention is trying to solve that problem. This is NewView, and we do engineering. NewView is an innovation school with classes and summer programs for kids who like to build and invent. We decided to create a heat protection, a shield from the sun. We are concerned that as the earth gets hotter from climate change, people will need protection from the sun. So we want to invent something that keeps people cooler. An invention is kind of like a new product that someone like invented it to make the world a better place. Right now we're working on our prototypes. A prototype is not your final version. It's almost like your first basic version of it. Should we save some for the actual product? It's called Mylar. It's a, like a reflective material. So we're gonna use it by sticking it to this cardboard. Our invention started with just the whole front cover covered in Mylar. Then our second prototype was connecting solar panels, which you could pull up and down with your finger. And it finally changed to the belt, which is our final product that we were going to execute. Our first prototypes only covered a small area of the arm. And some of the kids in our group suggested that we should protect a larger central part of the body. So that's when we designed the belt idea. I think why we keep changing it is because part of inventing something is changing. Like your first idea might not be your best idea. You can still grow off of that idea and create new things and new additions to your product. The latest prototype of our heat shield is a belt. Mirrors will reflect the sunlight away to help keep the person cooler. They will be attached with hinges. The angle can change depending on where the sun is in the sky. There's also a cooling system. Rainwater will be collected in a funnel, then stored in a plastic bottle. The water will circulate through a tube to help make the person cooler. That's our heat shield. And now I'm creating these panels. This material is acrylic, the color is mirror, and we chose mirror because it can reflect the sun. I'm now making it into a panel that will be able to move back and forth. So this is a servo. A servo is a motor that we can control. It basically moves back and forth in any speed. This is gonna push the panel up and down. When the servo motor comes on, the panel will start moving back and forth, which will reflect the sunlight. Depending where the sun is, at what time of day, it can adjust to that to protect you from the sun so you don't have heat stroke or overheat. So right now I'm trying to find a tube that will fit this. This is for our project so we can collect the water. The rainwater will go into the funnel, go through this tube and into the water bottle, which is kind of like the reservoir. Under it is tubes that will go out and around. The water will go through these tubes to help cool the person wearing the heat shield. So right now we're going to put water at the very top and see if it flows all the way down. If it leaks, then we know that there's a hole or something inside it. You feel any water? It's wet. It's getting on me. So there does seem to be a leak, I think. It's where the water bottle is. Yeah, it's definitely there. Tomorrow you should see all of the motors working, the panels going up and down, and this water bottle not leaking at all. motors started working and I'm really happy. We have a different bottle. It's a little bit taller and has a thicker plastic. So we're doing another water test because the last one kind of leaked a little bit. No leaks. Yay! It works! 
we're going to take the heat shield outside because that's where it's meant to be. This is the kind of environment that the heat shield will be used in. Very hot and the sun rays will be pointing at her because you can see that it's reflecting off. So the mirrors are moving up and down. Those are reflecting the sun from all different angles. I think inventing's fun. It exercises your mind in a different way. It's also cool to like make things with cool materials that you don't necessarily have at home. I like being an inventor because it could help people who are really in need, but also like make our world a better place.